I joined the military in October 1956 and retired in uh, October 1992. I retired as a sergeant. I received uh, two commander accommodations throughout my uh, 22 years of service. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder approximately 10 years after I retired. Uh, it had to do with my serving in uh, Vietnam. I got diagnosed in 2008, uh, and it was mainly from my tour in Afghanistan, from what I've experienced over there. Dealing with PTSD on a daily basis is, uh, is quite rough. What helps it, though, is the uh, support that we have over in uh, Veteran Affairs. As a case manager, you can't get any more front line than me. My job entails going out and doing home visits in the clients' homes. I see people in my office. I deal with clients on a face-to-face -face basis. We are the first point of contact when clients come through the door or over the phone. Out of the Sydney office, currently we are serving about 4,200 clients. Our clients are World War II veterans, regular force veterans, survivors, widows. RCMP, peacekeepers, and their families. They told us it was because of lack of work, which is completely untrue. We are busier now than we've ever been. The immediate reaction, I think, in the room was disbelief. Pretty well everybody in the room said the same thing what's gonna to happen to our clients, what's gonna to happen to our veterans, who's gonna look after them, this isn't fair to them. They're gonna close the office and have us travel, which doesn't make any sense at all. My PTSD uh, does get in the way of me driving. I just get too confused. There's times that I just have to pull over. Veterans live everywhere, not just in the major cities. The government says uh, the veterans are slowly disappearing. Uh, as time goes on, but that's not the truth. I have a gentleman who served in Afghanistan. He's in his early 30s. He suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and obsessive compulsive disorder. He comes in every week to see me, just so I can help him. I'm 46 years old, I have two young boys. I got a lot of life left, and there's a lot more like me out there. When they went to war, they were promised that the government of Canada would look after them from the day they enlisted to the day they died. I served for 22 years proudly as a Canadian soldier. Now I feel that my government has betrayed me and let me down. The day that I learned that the office was going to be closing uh, was on Remembrance Day. What a day to find out. 